and welcome. In today's video, we will be building a rock, paper, scissors game in Python. This is a simple game between multiple users. Each user can randomly select rock, paper, or scissors. And basically what happens is paper wins over rock, rock wins over scissor, and scissor wins over paper. In this version, you know, what we are going to build in Python is a single user game versus the computer or the bot. And for that, uh, we will be generating random choice to simulate bot. We will be asking user for their input. And once we get the user input, of course, we need to validate the user's input. If the user's input is invalid, we will ask again. If it is valid, then we'll compare bot's selection versus the user's input and find who wins. If it is a tie, the score won't change. If we have one winner, the score for that particular player or the bot will increase and everything will be inside a game loop so we'll keep a score and update the score and display the score before we proceed just a side note if you like contents like this please like share and subscribe and also hit that notification button to get timely notifications on, on new contents like this with that let's get right into it we will be creating game loop and typically that's done using a while loop inside that while loop, we will generate random choice for the bot ask user for user's choice and validate that user's choice if the input is valid we will compare the result and display the output. If it is invalid, we'll ask again. If the user chooses to quit, then we end the program with the final score. What we're going to do is we'll say done equals false and start from there. At the beginning, we don't want our program to be done. So that's what done equals false means. And inside that game loop, well, this, this actually goes outside the game loop. And in the game loop, we will have a while loop, while not done. And what we'll do is we will create CPU choice first. So random choice for the bot choice. So let's let's assume this is CPU choice, and we will be choosing from all choices. We need to now import choice function. So let's say from random import choice. So that takes care of that thing. So CPU choice and all choice. So we need to define what all choice is. And for that, we will be creating a variable name all choices, which will basically be a list of all the options that the bot will be selecting from. So rock, paper, and scissors. So basically what this does is we're saying CPU choice will be choice from all choice. It will randomly pick one from the list here. So that takes care of what the bot chooses. And for the user's portion, we will be asking user for their input. So we'll say user input is going to be input function. And here we'll be asking to enter one for rock, two for paper, or three for scissors. And then we'll say enter x to quit the game. So inside this while loop, instead of saying enter rock, paper, or scissor, I want the user to enter one, two, or three. We will convert that one, two, or three input from the user into one of the rock, paper, or scissor. So if the user enters one, we will convert that to rock. For two, we will convert that to paper. And for three, we will convert that to scissors. And if they hit X, we will be exiting out of the while loop. So that we don't forget, later on, we want to add scores. So CPU score equals zero and user score is also zero. Now, just to avoid these warnings, I want to indent all these comments to the same line. One thing I want to note is we are not allowing user to hit anything other than one, two, three, or X to quit. In alternate way, we could allow user to enter rock, paper, scissors, but I just want to get the user inputs quicker. So instead of typing rock, paper, scissors, I want them to type one, two, or three, or X to quit. For that reason, our program should convert that one, two, or three user inputs into rock, paper, scissors respectively. And therefore, we need uh, something, uh, a new variable here. So once that, once we get that input, we need that user input to be converted into the choice made. In the beginning, we will say, let's say that as none. We need to validate that user input now. So let's say if user input equals one, then we do user. So we'll say user choice equals rock and choice made, which is none at the beginning, we will say it's a valid choice. We are basically finding whether whatever the user enters is valid entry or not. And if, if it is a valid entry, we will publish that information here later on. If the user input is one, user's choice basically is raw, and the choice made would be valid in that case. We can copy this bit of code for two and three, and also, so this last one would be, or actually this all could be elif. If user input is one, we do all these statements. Elif for two, it would be, paper, rock, paper, scissor, and this would be for input of three. So if the user inputs one, we will convert that to rock and a valid entry. If user input is two, we will convert that to paper and a valid entry. 
and if user entry user input is three that means it's a scissors entry and also a valid entry elif user inputs x then we don't need rock paper or scissor so we can get rid of that and just say choice made is quit the game one two three and x are valid entries that will move the game forward or end the game but users can still enter whatever they want so we need to also have some kind of mechanism to avoid or be able to handle those cases else will take care of that and if user enters anything else we'll just prompt to the user that user input was invalid so we'll say invalid input please try again well we have this big while loop and everything is happening inside this while loop we need to exit that while loop and that would go under here if the user input is to quit then we need to end the program and display the final result so we will say if, if choice made equals and what was choice made is these so we, we say if user inputs is x choice made is quit now here we'll say if choice made equals quit we could actually build this block inside here but i'm, I'm just making it separate so that it's easier for you to follow and we need to put that inside double quote as a string semicolon then we'll do print thanks for playing also print let's say final score for now and we'll build on this later on did we define scores yeah we define scores so we could use that here final score machine equals to and this should be f string machine score here user equals another bracket machine score equals as cpu score and what did we define the other score user score will be here so if choice made is to quit, then at the end of that game, we will say thanks for playing and display the final score. Our while loop is still not done. So we will say done equals true and that would end the while loop. I don't know if this would run. So we can just give this, give it a try and see how it works so far. So this is showing enter one for raw, two for paper and three for scissors. Enter X to quit. So let's say X to quit. And we're saying thanks for playing final score machine zero user zero. That sounds about right because we haven't played any game and nobody has won anything. So scores for both sides would be zero and the game ended. So it's all good for the quitting part. Let's run it again and see what happens if I enter gibberish string. Invalid input, please try again, it's giving me the prompt again. I think that's also working just fine. Now, all the valid inputs, 1, 2, and 3, we haven't tried those, so let's see. User input was 1, which should mean rock, and that should mean that the CPU selected something, and we selected rock, and it should display what happened after that. So game logic, we haven't implemented the main game logic here. So let's end this to implement that. So this portion here, if the user input is valid, we do all the comparison and show the game logic here. How we can do that is if so we have this choice made is valid in this one, two, and three conditions. So we'll say if choice made was valid, then we will do a bunch of stuff. First off, I want to print what the user and the machine selected. Missing the legs, and that would be the CPU selection and the user select, and that would be the user selection here. And we want highlight that. We cannot use double code because double code is already used in F string. And if you try to use double code, you will get error. So try to avoid that. And machine selects. So what goes here is the CPU selected. So CPU selected a choice from a list of choice here. So CPU choice would go under here, and user's choice would go here. There's a lot more stuff to do here, but let's just give it a quick run and see. So we already tested invalid and X inputs. Now I explicitly want to test one, two, or three inputs. Two, machine selects scissor, user selects paper. So I think it is making that random choice for the CPU. And I selected two, which basically means paper. And that is correctly shown here. Now I need to make a comparison and select who won. So that game logic portion of what the game does is still pending. So we go back here and now make the comparison. So if user choice equals CPU choice. So what this is saying is if both the choices are same, it's basically a tie. So we'll just say print it's a tie. And because it is tie, we don't necessarily have to change the score or we can increase the score for both the CPU and the user by one at the same time at this, at this tie. I'm going to skip that portion and move on. What I need here is if they are not equal. So if instead of if, let's say else, that would be more efficient. If user choice equals rock, then I want to do the comparison. So if CPU choice, and we, we cannot do rock here because that logic is already done in the tie. So we need paper. Then we'll say what happens. So if user is choosing rock and the CPU chooses paper, paper wins over rock. So we'll say machine wins. 
not wind, winds. And then we will increase CPU's core by plus one. And if CPU choice was not paper, so there right now there's only one more outcome. So we can do else because there's only three possible choices. The first choice was both the tie or the same choice. So rock and rock would be taken care of here. Rock and paper is taken care of here. And there's only one more choice. So we can do we can say else and copy that portion and say instead of machine user wins or better say you win. And then instead of CPU score, we will say, what was it, user score. User score is increased by one. So this is when the user chooses rock. And we can copy this portion and do the same thing. Instead of rock, if user choice is paper, scissors. So CPU chooses scissors, user chooses paper. Scissor wins over paper, so machine wins. So that logic is good. Else, user wins. So that takes care of paper. And we're going to make one more copy of that and say rock, paper, now the scissors turn. So if user chooses scissors, CPU chooses rock, rock will win over scissors. So in that case, machine wins, else the user wins. I think we've taken care of three options for the user and under three options, if users and CPU's choices are not equal, then under what condition CPU score increases and under what condition the user score increases. And at the end of this, and here, I guess this is where my print will go. Let's make sure once more time. So if I do, if they are equal, I say it's a tie else. And out of that else, I will print. So I think this is good. Let's save this. So I'm going to go back here. This is not supposed to be final score. This is current score. So as long as I'm not quitting the game, it should give me current score. And at the end, when I hit X, that means I'm quitting. Um, the game would end and show me the final score. And I think that's about it. Let's run this one more time. Uh, one, it's a tie, zero, zero. That's fine. Two, I win paper over rock, paper and rock, and my score is one, that's fine too. If I select three, that's scissors, scissors would cut paper, so that's another score for me. So machine zero, user two. And let's say with a, or a few more rounds to get a score for machine as well. So here, machine wins, scissors versus my paper. Um, and machine gets a score. Um, my score is still the same. And this time I enter nothing. Invalid entry. I enter X in next iteration to quit the game. And now instead of current score, it is showing you final score. And it's one versus three. So I think that's all for this video. If you like this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification button. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask on the comment section below. Until next time, thank you.